Each of us cherished certain memories of Burton Black. For some, it was that enjoyable event or a particularly dramatic moment. Perhaps that joke well told, or our favorite essay that he wrote, or a tender feeling that he caused. Each of us treasured his belief. Memory. Here was a guy who was ebullient, expressive of his feelings, friendly and outgoing, quick to praise, obviously ambitious, and yet amazingly uncompetitive. Amazingly uncompetitive, no trace of personal aggrandizement. To be silly, to enjoy himself to the point of a red face and tears in his eyes from laughing. He preferred to laugh with others, but if his jokes might not strike your fancy, or if you were a little embarrassed not being used to outbursts, bursts of the frivolous, the halls of ivy, he wouldn't let that stop him. He would not give up the right to the ridiculous. One that can't take uh, those kinds of introductions too seriously. When, uh, when I'm tempted to, I remember an incident that occurred in the life of James Joyce. He gave a poetry reading, and after the reading, a worshiper came over to him and said, may I kiss the hand that wrote Ulysses? And Joyce says, no, you may not. That hand did a lot of other things, too. <laughs> So we all have. <laughs> Let's uh, define advocacy first. Uh, I was interviewed by one of the newspaper people before uh, dinner, and the uh, first thing out of her mouth was, uh, what does the word mean? And I thought for a minute, and uh, I said, uh, what it really means is uh, to plead the cause of somebody as if you'd be pleading the cause for yourself. Uh, that's all it means. To act on behalf of someone as if you would be acting on your own behalf. That sounds so simple and it's so difficult. It's so easy to plead our own cause and it's so difficult to plead someone else's cause. It's I'm sure that you're going to get into long and debilitating debates about uh, how you can improve institutions uh, for the mentally retarded, for example. And no one will ask the compelling question, and that is, is there anything that goes on in an institution for the mentally retarded that can't go on at least as satisfactorily in the community? That's the first question. And that's the first question to be asked about the institution. That's the first question to be asked about the special class. That's the first question to be asked about the convalescent home. See. Now, the difference between...